Jordan Love from Utah State. He will be the third quarterback taken ahead of Justin Herbert. Dreaming. Third quarterback. Yes. Dreaming. For Over Jimmy B Foundation. Third quarterback. Yes. That's Here we the go. 5,000. Right 5,000. Yep. Let's go. Well, I've been waiting for this. We now welcome in our NFL draft brass. He always brings out McShay the best in me. And Mel Kuyper Jr. Yes, you bring out the best in each other. So good. <laughs> All right, so you guys have a wager on who's going to be the third quarterback off the board at the draft. Todd? I want odds, by the way. We've been talking about this this, this morning. <laughs> Jay, he's already. <laughs> I'm just going to look at started. Vegas. Look at Vegas. They, they, they're different odds. Just straight up. Just make it straight up. We're not All going right, odds. Up. Just straight up. 5,000. Right. Here we go. All right, Todd, pitch your case on why Jordan Love will go ahead of Justin Herbert. Unlike Mel, I've kind of I've come along in terms of evaluating quarterbacks. It's not it's not prehistoric. It's not the Flintstones. It's it's about what <laughs> is today's NFL. And Jordan Love is more today's NFL than a six six quarterback, long levered, slow delivery, inconsistent accuracy. Now my quarterback threw 17 interceptions this past season. So I, you know we got some stuff to work out. But what I do love about him seriously is is Jordan Love is so good in the pocket. He creates he extends he does a great job of throwing off platform and can adjust his arm angles and I think a team if they if they have a year to develop him if we look back three four years from now he's going to be the second or third best quarterback in this year's draft yeah I like love you love love yes there sir. You go. <laughs> but I, 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 Justin Herbert I'm okay I'm not sold on but the guarantee is now that based on the performance of the senior bowl and the combine with his tools and his intelligence great kid it's starting to come together and people are now I think, buying in more to Justin Herbert transitioning a little bit better to the NFL than people thought I said six overall to the Chargers five Miami I still Ooh, believe that that's a uh, nose even, though, even though he is kind of that say polarizing figure on the offensive side he is but I do think April 23rd, Justin Herbert is selected before Jordan Love. All right, we will see what happens. And whoever wins the bet, the big winner, the V Foundation, $5,000 yes. richer. That's very cool. We're going to get all you guys involved, too, so be ready. Okay. Ryan, you hear that? I like it. Get I'm ready. ready. All right. Hey, uh, last season, guys, Washington drafted QB Dwayne Haskins with the 15th overall pick. Mel, if Tua checks out medically and Washington thinks he's an upgrade over Haskins, should they take him over Chase Young with that second pick? Yes, and I think if he and it's all about the medical. If he does check out and he's the guy, and you let him go with Haskins, if Haskins plays next year and Tua has to medically redshirt, so be it. Tua comes back and he's the big time quarterback. Fine. If Haskins develops into a big time quarterback, you trade a healthy Tua and you get those draft picks. So you can't really lose there because the idea here is not to be the fourth best quarterback in a division with some really good ones, but be right up there at the top, or else you have no shot at playoff slash Super Bowl. So quarterback so critical. Tua gets the medical clearance. I would have to strongly consider him a two. I completely agree with you. The issue is, though, our owner. If, I mean, if you're running the, the draft for the Washington Redskins, Daniel Snyder loves Haskins. Like, he loves him, and he th thinks he's going to be the guy. So I, I don't know that it's realistic. I think Chase Young is going to wind up being the pick at number two overall. Joe Burrow is likely to be the number one overall pick for the, the Bengals. And Young comes in, and he's going to be an explosive pass rusher, and they need that. But I agree with Mel on this one. I really do. I don't see the same player in Tua and Haskins. I, I think Tua is a much better quarterback if he's healthy. Now, there's a lot of time between now and April's draft, and we're going to find out a lot on March 9th, and then we're going to find out a lot more on April 9th when he has a pro day for Tua Tungabailoa. But ultimately, if your medical staff says, yeah, he's cleared, he's going to be good, even if we have to wait a year, I would take Tua and say, we'll deal Haskins later. Yeah, I like a safety net. I like Absolutely. a win-win. I, I like win-win. At the most important yeah. position. At little insurance, at quarterback. If Haskins is great, so be it. We're happy. We're all happy, right? So if Haskins is just okay, then we got Tua. And if we miss on both of them, then everybody's gone. Right. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.